the majority of entrepreneurs prioritize purchasing a supercar, or three, when they are declared billionaire. For Jeff Bezos, not so. He upgraded his beat-up old Chevy to a very modest Honda Accord to commemorate being the first billionaire in history. He became a billionaire in 1999 after Amazon went public on the stock market, valued at $10, one cent billion dollars. Even before his wealth skyrocketed, Bezos was renowned for being a thrifty person. His office desk, constructed from an old door raised on four pieces of wood, symbolized his forensic attention to financial efficiency. He was a Star Trek nerd. However, all of this occurred while he was married to Mackenzie Scott, a Princeton English graduate, his first wife, whom he divorced in 2019 after 25 years of marriage and four children. It's safe to say that Bezos has since skillfully leaned into his master of the universe reputation. He is poised to tie the knot today for the second time, this time with the cartoonishly pneumatic Lauren Sanchez, whom he has been dating for four years. The 54-year-old Lauren can be seen clearly enjoying her life in platinum-plated luxury, which the new Jeff transformed into a robust and muscled Hulk lives. Bezos has changed the course of her life. She went from the complete humiliation of having her application for a job as an air hostess turned down when she was 18 years old due to her weight to being a global philanthropist. She's undoubtedly at the top of the Hollywood tree, with billions to spend on herself and to give away at the end of her perfectly manicured fingernails. Her days as a cute local news girl on TV are long gone, and now she is pals with media magnate Barry Diller, Oprah, and Kim Kardashian, among other billionaires. Lauren, a certified helicopter pilot, accompanied Prince Harry to the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Los Angeles on Friday night for the Living Legends of Aviation Gala, where they both collected honors. Later, she gushed about the prince and shared a photo of the two of them on Instagram, referring to him as one of the people who shaped the history and future of flight. Later in the year, Lauren will be hosting an A-list Oscars party. Then there will be her space journey on Bezos's personal rocket, and of course their upcoming second time around for both parties' wedding, which promises to be an unforgettable spectacle. What her wedding gown will look like is a mystery. If her current preferences are any indication, it might be sheer or even completely transparent. In fact, Lauren spent the early part of this month celebrating her fiancé's 60th birthday by packing herself into a series of strikingly short or sheer dresses in Paris and Milan. Lauren's thong-clad bottom was revealed in a somewhat provocative catsuit, which prompted some American commentators to disparagingly call the radiant Lauren a hooker. Notwithstanding the jabs, she and Bezos appeared really happy. Look who's getting 60. Lauren wished her birthday on Instagram. Today is just another day when your smile brightens every space in our house and your laughter fills it with energy. I'm wishing you a lot of small pleasures and peaceful moments of contentment. You could excuse yourself if you scoffed at her selection of phrase, simple joys. Bezos, the third richest person in the world, with a net worth of PSO 137 billion, has created the $500 million Pay F394 million yacht Carew, which features a busty figurehead on its prow that resembles Lauren, in addition to a property empire that would make cruises cry. The tallest yacht ever constructed, the Carew, requires $39 million in operating expenses annually, in addition to two commercial aircraft, only its support vessel, which has its own submarine, can accommodate 45 employees. The enormous yacht may be the world's most extravagant display of wealth, but nothing seems to be too much for Lauren, who seemed to enjoy extravagant displays of wealth, even when Amazon laid off 27,000 employees in 2022-2023. And it's quite likely that the vivacious Lauren took a photo of Bezos's quiet moments of happiness and posted it to social media. Doubters be damned, Lauren is giddy with the light at her good riches, stellar connections, and magical life. She said to Vogue last year that when Bezos presented her with a salesy 1.9 million 20 carat pink diamond engagement ring, she was so impressed that she almost blacked out. She is described by Barry Diller as a sparkler in Jeff's life and he goes on to say that they are clearly in love with one another. She's made him feel so good. She is an excellent stimulator. Lauren also seems to have changed as a result of her romance. Much as the one sweetie Bezos has become more pumped up, she claims he now trains like a monster. She's never looked hotter as she approaches her mid-fifties, assuming you define hot as a plump-up, Kardashian-esque manner. Interestingly, her coffee in the morning 
arrives in a mug that says, woke up sexy as hell again. There are others who believe that her incredibly beautiful appearance is mostly due to cosmetic enhancements. Her lips are larger, her complexion is smoother, and her skin is more radiant than it was 10 years ago, according to observers. Unkind rumors have also been spread regarding the form of her earlobes, which are allegedly a telltale indicator of a facelift. But the truth is that Bezos was enthralled with Lauren's beauty and personality even before any outward improvements were made, and he's still infatuated. Regarding her present showgirl appearance, which is the complete reverse of discreet riches, Bezos just comments, it works for Jeff. I really think I am coming into who I am and I know what feels good, Lauren stated in an interview with Vogue last year. Lauren's life story makes it clear that she has always had an amazing level of attention on improving herself. She was born in 1969 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but struggled academically because her dyslexia went undetected. She traveled to Los Angeles when she was 18 years old in the hopes of working as an air hostess for Southwest Airlines, but she was six pounds too fat. She enrolled in a journalism program at a college in California. Her neurodiversity was recognized by a teacher who helped her thrive and eventually earn a scholarship to the University of Southern California. She accepted an offer to become a host on a TV station in Phoenix, Arizona. Thus, she left in 1994 before she could graduate. A subsequent internship resulted in employment as a local news anchor and on Fox Sports in Los Angeles. Tewell's romantic life progressed at a rapid pace. Prior to her romances with NFL player Anthony Miller and, subsequently, NFL great Tony Gonzalez, with whom she had a son named Nico in 2001 before their breakup, she was rumored to be engaged to sports announcer Rory Marcus. After that, she had an affair with La Lakers player Derek Fisher. She also reportedly became engaged to actor Henry Simmons, star of Marvel's Agents of S-H-E-L-D, before making a small career move into show industry. All of this love restlessness came to an end in 2004 when Lauren met entertainment and media agent Patrick Whitesell. She fell hard for him at first sight and seemed to quickly leave Simmons behind. I would constantly inquire of my friends, how do you know it's the right one, she moaned. I so get it, I informed them after meeting Patrick. Her own TV career took off after she met Whitesell. She and Whitesell got married in 2005, the same year she got a position hosting, so you think you can dance in its inaugural season. Actors Hugh Jackman, Jennifer Garner, Jessica Alba, Matt Damon, and Ben Affleck, who sang Mac the Knife at the reception, were among her husband's clientele at his lavish wedding. But in 2006, she became pregnant with her son Evan, and her stint on So You Think You Can Dance came to an end. A buddy remembers that Cat Dealey's managers were delighted to grant her the part. Lauren believed that her dismissal was unfair, and she even discussed pursuing legal action with well-known attorney Gloria Allred. According to a TV source, Lauren wasn't very informed about dance, but she was incredibly intelligent and attractive. She would also ask all the correct questions, but Lauren didn't always notice the answer before going on to the next question, which gave the appearance that she wasn't paying attention or showing any sympathy for the competitors. Lauren went back to work in television after the birth of her daughter Ella in 2008. From 2011 to 2017, she hosted a local LA morning news show in addition to the entertainment program Extra. She always had a lot of enthusiasm for her family during those years. Son Nico recalls how his outgoing mother would ring a cowbell and yell at his high school football games while wearing homemade costumes with his number on them. He declared there was not a single year that she wasn't the OT mom. She became a qualified helicopter pilot in 2011, undoubtedly motivated by her father Ray's experience as a technician and flight teacher. Ever resourceful, Lauren founded Black Ops Aviation in 2016 to focus on aerial filming after seeing a business possibility in her passion. Lauren provided advice on Christopher Nolan's film Dunkirk, maybe thanks to her agent, husband's connections, and her new job. She had already met Bezos by now. Her husband represented Michelle Williams, the actress who starred in Manchester by the Sea 2016, which was distributed by Amazon. It appears that Bezos and her husband collaborated closely. Eventually, a collaboration between her and Bezos emerged to produce a documentary on his space venture Blue Origin. Known in tabloids as the $50 million dollar buy, 
the two had an eight-month affair while it was being filmed. The couple enjoyed private planes, helicopter rides, romantic treks, and five-star hotel hideaways while being followed by the National Enquirer magazine over 40,000 miles and five states. There have been rumors of them exchanging heated letters and images. Following these disclosures, Bezos said in January 2019 that he was divorcing Mackenzie. After 14 years, Lauren and Whitesell formally separated as well. Lauren currently resides at a Beverly Hills estate that Bezos purchased in 2020 for $165 million, $130 million. In addition, Bezos owns properties in Miami, Texas, and Washington, where he owns the Washington Post. According to Sanchez, their lives mostly revolve around the kids and are pretty normal. The pair enjoys working out together and has a personal trainer they share. Given her recent fortune, it was only a matter of time until her work became more of a passion project. Adventure and Fellowship, her production firm, aims to produce movies and documentaries. Bezos' daughter had a cameo appearance in the micro-budget movie The Golden Door, which was shot over the course of a tumultuous 20 days last summer. It's uncertain if the movie will be released because producer Sanchez reportedly caused a ruckus on production and director Kelly Madison departed the project. In response to criticism, her representatives provided the stunning statement, she was involved, she even brought her own jewelry for the actors to wear on film. In addition, Lauren is penning The Fly That Flew, a children's book that was promised but never released last year. The title and concept of the book, A Fly Traveling Into Space, have already been used in several works, which could be the reason for the delay. However, nothing can stop Sanchez, who, depending on who you ask, can be a beneficial force or a striver who causes trouble. Her regular distraction is philanthropy. She and Bezos present the Bezos Award for Courage and Civility, which grants charity a grant of $78 million. In addition, Sanchez is associated with the Day One Families Fund, which helps homeless families, the Bezos Academy, which offers free early education, and the Bezos Earth Fund, which aims to spend PS7.8 billion to attempt to solve the climate catastrophe. I'm immersing myself in philanthropy and strategic giving right now. She declared last year, my career and my partner have never been the same. I believe that I can work and spend all of my time with my girlfriend now. We enjoy spending time together and working together. He is supporting me with the book. He is obtaining his license to fly. Together we soar, together we exercise. We spend all of our time together. It's like taking a master class every day when you live with Jeff. Thus, it is also possible to deduce that is residing with Lauren.